Cowboys, the National Football League, the Dallas Cowboys Dream. I've never felt more of a red blooded American than I feel right here, right now. <laughs> this is what it's all about, people. This is why we live all that way. I don't know what you want Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Big Brian Show. This week, the Pittsburgh Steelers, my backup team, is coming to Dallas to play the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, used to be my favorite team. This week, the Pittsburgh Steelers, who are in first place and have not lost a game, 7-0, and are coming to Dallas to play the Dallas Cowboys. Who are like in tie for last place and have like a two and five record. That's funny. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Tough week for the Cowboys. Pittsburgh Steelers are coming to play Dallas at home, and the Pittsburgh Steelers are favored by 14 points. Wow. And they might just beat them by at least 14 because we all know the Cowboys suck right now. They have no defense. They have the worst defense in the NFL. So let's look at this on paper, guys. Cowboys have the worst defense in the NFL. They're giving up 266 points. And their offense is a is. It looks okay on paper, but once again, most of that offense came from Dad Prescott. So, yeah, the Cowboys suck, guys. 266 points. Yeah, the worst ever defense. The Cowboys are in next to last place in the worst division in the NFL, NFC East. Can't even believe I'm saying that out of my mouth because NFC East used to be the toughest division. The Cowboys are two and six. They lost six games. And on the other hand, Pittsburgh Steelers are in first place. Look at that. Seven and zero. Oh. Their defense is tough. They're only giving up, giving up 142 points. And the offense is rocking. So, yeah. Still is going to whip that ass. <laughs> Kick the Cowboys' butt. No doubt about it. The only positive thing about this game is that the last Super Bowl the Cowboys won, they beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. 1996, 27-17. Yep. That's their last Super Bowl win came against the Steelers. Thanks to my man right here, Larry Brown, MVP, two interceptions. So they didn't want to throw the D on, so they took their chances with Larry Brown, and he stepped up. Good old days. Emmitt Smith and Michael Irvin hoisting the Lombardi tr Trophy. There are the triplets, Troy Aitman, Emmitt Smith, Michael Irvin, Dion. Sanders. So yeah. Anyway, Cowboys are gonna get the butt kicked this this Sunday by the Steelers. My backup team is gonna beat my favorite team. <laughs> Cause right now I'm a Steelers fan. Cowboys suck. Hey what's up guys? I'm back with the uh, the godfather of Philly, Dave. Uh so, Dave, uh, Pittsburgh Steelers are going to uh, Texas to play Dallas. Playing Dallas at home. 
What do you think is going to happen? Well, Dallas fans, I'm going to tell you, 14 point underdogs at home. That's really embarrassing. That's really embarrassing. I don't think that's ever been done in Dallas history. I'm trying to hold my leg. Word is for you betters. Jerry Jones at the Steelers, minus 13 and a half. He caught him on the early line, 13 and a half. He couldn't resist. Now he's going to double up once it goes up to 15 because everybody's <laughs> betting on Pittsburgh. Everybody's betting on Pittsburgh. On the flip side. Watch the home dog. No matter how bad they are, watch that home <laughs> dog. And when you're looking at the Texans, then you know Texas. Well, well, who's the quarterback? I mean, Danucci is gone, right? Is Our buddy Danucci, he didn't make it. <laughs> uh, he made it look good on three plays, but I, I can't remember him. Yeah. I know they're bringing in a couple guys got a little experience. I'm not sure the name's offhand, but one of them played a couple games last year, and uh yeah. You never know. The home dog. The home dog is tough. 14 points. That's a lot of points. I heard they one cut the one thing you got to look into is Pittsburgh always plays down to the teams they're playing. When they're playing the best teams in the league, they play the best. When they're playing the worst teams, they're never at their best. <laughs> so it's not a lock. It's not a lock, but Jerry does have him at 13 and a half. 13 and a half. You don't think, you don't think they're going to beat them by more than 14? Give you my final score is going to be Pittsburgh 35, Dallas 10. I like that. And I'm stretching it with the 10 only because I gave you 7 last week and they got 11. <laughs> so I'm going to give them 10 this week. Yeah. Pittsburgh's got a little tougher defense in Dallas than the Eagles have. So we'll see. They got that new linebacker in tougher. from the Jets. Should be playing. And we'll see what's, we'll see what's going to happen. I hope they only score 35, but I have a feeling they may score even more than that. Depends on how Roethlisberg feels. Oh, there you have it, guys. So, uh, yeah, I like, what's his name? Danucci was, his initials were B-A-D, bad. <laughs> ben something Danucci. <laughs> but, it, I, you know what, though? He, he had a lot of heart, man. He had a lot. That was just like, what, first or second game? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, oh, he he ran for it. He dove. He didn't he didn't slide. That's he right. dove. That's I mean, right. you know, he tried to that's get a couple right. first downs, but I think they should. I think they should let him play again. I mean, come on. Well, yeah. nobody can do anything in one game, you know. So, right. You right. Know, what what do they got to lose? What do they got to lose? Might as well settle on somebody. This way, they can blame it on him, you know. Yeah. Yeah, they keep moving around. That coaching staff's looking a little weak. I'll tell you, <laughs> coaching staff's looking a little weak. <laughs> All right, guys. So there you have it. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a blowout. Uh, <laughs> Steelers all over Dallas. Thanks, Dave. Thank you. Yep. Hey, guys. I want to say this. I do think Jerry Jones was really pissed off at this team right now because he got rid of a lot of players. A lot of players he cut. So that that shows that he still wants to win but he still needs to get a top grade coach and let that coach take over the team so yeah i know he i know he was pissed off because he got rid of a lot of players and they did play better against philly so i don't know i don't know if mike mccarthy is a man but we'll soon find out yeah you see the players play better when they seen Jerry wasn't playing around and cutting people. And that's what they need. They need some fear. You know, it's like now they say, oh, yeah, because you can't be friends. If you're the coach, you can't be friends with the players when you're the coach. You know, it's about pro productivity. It's ain't about friendship. You know, you either do your job or you're out of here. So, Jerry Jones, she's a little pissed off right now. And the players know it. So, they're playing a little better. 